All right, here's a quick video that's going to show you guys uh, our break in action bending. Uh, this is 20 ga 26 gauge uh, steel, uh, painted steel. Uh, so I'll be doing ice guards uh, for our house uh, so that we don't have uh, snow and ice uh, slamming on the deck like we did uh, last year while we're building. Um, so the uh, I'll have to do a voiceover on this one because uh, the machine was way too noisy in the back to hear anything I was saying. And uh, this was just shot uh, with the cell phone. Um, and if anybody has a uh, way to put in a 40 inch, 48 inch wide uh, piece of, uh, of a sheet of steel into the brake by themselves, I'd be very curious to see how you guys do that. Uh, so I had to ask Simon to give me a hand uh, after my many failed attempts of looking elegant doing it by myself. Um, but uh, anyway, you'll see us uh, bending uh, the 26 gauge seal uh, on our uh, 14 foot heavy duty, 24 inch deep uh, Innova Tools modular brake. Um, this one is just, the brake is just resting on a, uh, our assembly bench that's on wheels. So it's obviously not ideal at all. I had to get Simon to hold the bench while I was cutting to transfer the, uh, my weight into the material as opposed to sliding the bench around. Uh, so we're currently in the process of uh, developing a, uh, step on, a stepping platform uh, that they'll be intended for our heavy duty models uh, break. So they'll be uh, coming up in the, in the new year, uh, along with our coil dispenser and also our uh, angle uh, indicator uh, for uh, bending accurate angle uh, repetitively. Uh, so these are all uh, new accessories that we're working on. So you'll see. Uh, bending the 26 inch gauge. So this is a 10 foot long piece uh, that uh, we're bending. I'm holding the brake just to try and transfer the uh, weight into the material as opposed to tipping the brake over. But like I said, once we have our stepping platform or if you have the brake mounted permanently on a uh, fixed workbench, you obviously wouldn't have that issue and it'd be much better and easier to do. Uh, but you'll see, uh, you know, our brake handles it just fine. Um, we're very pleased with the results. Everything is nice and sturdy. Uh, it's been tested and proven. Uh, so it uh, obviously is harder to do steel than it is to do aluminum, uh, but the brake can handle it. And uh, our uh, sheet metal C-frames uh, have a lot of uh, strength uh, considering the weight and, and, and their design. So it's uh, we're very pleased with the results. As you'll see here, one single bend. I think I'm doing that one uh, just with one handle, uh, 10 feet long. Everything transfers just fine. The uh, It's true and nice and true and straight. So it's a uh, very sturdy hinge and extrusion design that we did on uh, on our brakes. Um, down the road, maybe we'll try to do a even heavier gauge. This one's good for up to 24 gauge. It's really hard on the 24. It's, it requires a lot of strength. So uh, we'll be shooting a video once we have our stepping platform. Uh, but we might even uh, try to go with uh, even thicker material down the road. Uh, we'll uh, see uh, if we have time to uh, test out with additional C-frames uh, to increase the banding capacity further. So in the next few months, there will uh, that's something we'll work on. So this is our heavy-duty model. Maybe we'll end up having an industrial model that can do even higher than uh, 24 gauges. Uh, so we ship worldwide daily. Uh, so let us know if you have any questions, any feedback. We need your input.